This is Chai, the Ed Sheeran of Genshin Impact. And if you are struggling to build him, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this beginner's guide, I will provide you some essential tips and tricks on how to effectively build the Hydro Bow user Tartaglia, also known as Chai. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the guide on how to build this ginger lad properly. Chai's normal attack, cutting torrents, is a 6 hit combo bow attack that does physical damage, and his fully charged aim shot does hydro damage and applies the riptide status to enemies. His elemental skill, Foul Legacy Raging Tide, is a powerful melee stance that allows allows Child to unleash devastating AoE Hydro attacks, dealing massive damage to enemies in his vicinity. What makes his ability even more deadly is its ability to apply Riptide status to nearby enemies, causing them to take additional damage over time. Damage from his melee stance is considered as normal attack damage and it scales with the level of his elemental skill. His elemental burst, Havoc, Obliteration has two different variations, ranged and melee. When Child is in his bow stance, he uses Flash of Havoc and shoots an arrow that does AoE Hydro damage and applies Riptide status and when he is in melee stance, he uses uses Light of Obliteration that does AoE Hydro damage to all the surrounding enemies and triggers Riptide Blast. Mastering the art of applying and sustaining Riptide is essential to maximizing Child's damage output and you might be wondering, what is this Riptide? Riptide is a unique status effect that only Child can apply to enemies. When an enemy is affected by Riptide, they take additional Hydro damage when hit by Child's attacks and if they are defeated while affected by Riptide, they will explode, dealing AoE Hydro damage to nearby enemies. To maximize Child's damage output, it is essential to understand how to apply and maintain Riptides effectively. Child can apply Riptides using his charged bow shot, melee normal attacks, and with his ranged elemental burst. There are different types of Riptide damage. Enemies take Riptide flash damage when hit with a fully charged bow shot and does Riptide burst damage when defeated. This Riptide damage is considered as normal attack damage. Enemies take Riptide slash damage when hit with elemental skill or melee stance normal attacks. This damage is considered as elemental skill damage. And lastly, enemies take Riptide blast damage when hit by melee elemental burst, light of obliteration, and this damage is considered as elemental burst damage. Each Riptide damage scales with their respective talent levels and Child's first passive talent increases the duration of Riptide by 8 seconds and his second passive talent allows his melee normal attacks to apply Riptide status on enemies when Child scores a critical hit. Prioritize leveling up Child's elemental skill first followed by his elemental burst and don't level up his normal attacks to save your resources. When building any character in Genshin Impact, artifacts play a crucial role in enhancing their abilities. For Child, I highly recommend equipping him with the 4-piece Heart of Depth set. This set provides a significant boost to hydro damage and enhances his normal attack damage. Alternatively, you can opt for the Noblesse Oblige 2-piece set which boosts Child's Elemental Burst damage and 2-piece Heart of Depth that increases hydro damage bonus. Or you can opt for the Nymph's Dream set that will provide hydro damage bonus as well as attack percent. You can also go for the 2-piece Heart of Depth and 2-piece Nymph's Dream for the hydro damage bonus. Or you can go for the Old and Trusty 2-piece attack percent and 2-piece hydro damage bonus sets. Choose the set that best suits your playstyle and enhances Child's abilities to their fullest. If you are looking for the best weapons to use with Child, there are a few options to consider. Child's signature weapon is the Polar Star, which provides a significant amount of critical rate and has the passive that increases attack and the damage of elemental skill and burst. This weapon is ideal for players who want to maximize Child's damage output. Other 5-star bows such as the Aqua Simulacra, Thundering Pulse, and Skyward Heart are all very good weapon options for Child. Another viable option is the Stringless, which boosts elemental skill and burst damage. This weapon is perfect for players who want to focus on Child's elemental abilities and increase his overall damage output. The Rust Bow is a great choice for players who want to increase Child's normal attack damage. This weapon is ideal for players who prefer a more traditional playstyle and want to focus on Child's basic attacks. Finally, the Hamayumi Bow, which is a free-to-play craftable bow, is also a very good option if you don't have any other weapons mentioned above. Ultimately, the best weapon for Child will depend on your playstyle and the team composition you're using. Experiment with different weapons to find the one that works best for you and your team. And that's it for the beginner's guide to building Child. To maximize his damage output, remember to prioritize his elemental skill and burst, invest in his artifacts and weapons, and pair him with the right team. With these tips and tricks, you will be able to take down enemies with ease and unlock child's full potential. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Genshin Impact content and click on this video to know everything about elemental reactions in Genshin Impact.